oh, transgender That's person. That's offensive. I know. It was really bad, Gaz, without you there. Doing it with a straight white man. Oh, terrible views Horrible. coming out. That's all I could think she, uh, watching the, the first live show. What? Does Rob, Rob Williams' wife look like Rodrigo? No. She doesn't. looks weird, though. She looks like her act, that one that does rock music. Oh, <coughs> oh that thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, speaking of X Factor, Zoe looked like Sam Bailey in her prison card uniform yeah, for the task. That, That's not, not a bad comparison. <laughs> Two questions for you guys. And if this podcast is done after the next double eviction, apologies. Well, it is. What would be your goal? Like F6 order. Oh, God. Well, it's only four now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Should we answer that one? She's got a bit of thoughts here. Shall I say it? Read hers first? No, let's do ours first. You know, I don't like to be influenced. <coughs> well, what I would want and what I think are two different things. I want Akeem. Who's left? Akeem, Zoe. Cameron, Zoe, and Kia. Yeah. I want. Okay, I'll be straight with you. Yeah. I, I want Akeem. You're saying winning. Akeem winning, Cameron second, Zoe, Kia. There you go. I want the same, but probably Cameron to win. Hmm. <laughs> what does Ali want? Uh, I, I know get, for me... I think you'll get what you want. <laughs> Sean is my winner. Oh, wow. She has brought so much to the series. <laughs> smoking what? and smoking oh. and, yeah. No, I'd probably say Sean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you got us, right? I believe it. You got us. No, I'd probably say, say Sean sixth, then... Brooke was sixth. Kian. Okay. Then Cameron... Ooh. Then Brooke, mm. then Zoe, then Akeem as my winner. Oh, wow. I'm a softie for dogs, but what about you guys? Interesting. I have wow, to say, the, the, dog, the dog scene was very touching. It was. Akeem seemed very nice. Though. Also, since BBK is almost done for now, I wanted to ask, what are your guys' favourite, like, underrated... I like this is the way she writes, like. Okay. Like, okay. underrated BBK moments. Like, obviously, who is she? An adulterer's gets lots of mentions. Mm. As does David is David. I mean, she thinks she means David is dead. Mm. Um, mine is probably Liz Jones in the bath yeah. talking to Louisa Zisman about wanting to drive into a tree in oh, a car that was for good. a task. That was, good. that was amazing. But what about you guys? That's interesting because we've actually been talking about this lately because some of the super fans have been putting together like uh, clips, packages yeah. of like all the best bits of Channel 5. <laughs> and two, a couple of bits that sprung to my mind was. Mm. Jedward's Trolley Dash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Danny Whisker misspelling canoe. Yeah. That's a classic. Mark O'Neill saying he was a, a prick in tinfoil rather than a knight in shining armor. Oh, over. yeah. That was good. Um, <laughs> I can't think of any other. Um, did somebody get a warning? Yeah, that was, that was good. quite good. Oh, that whole series was really funny, I think. Um. <laughs> uh, what else? What is, there must be loads of celeb ones. Oh, man tub. Man, we like the man tub, don't the we? Man tubs are good. Yeah. I'm just trying not to vomit. Um. <coughs> Gas has had a McDonald's. It's made him puke. I think I've had too much of everything: prosecco, water, milkshake, and food. Do you want a Rennie? You've got indigestion. No. Do you want a Rennie? No, it's not going to help me. This this current junk juncture. <laughs> um. It's hard God. to think of. A uh, it's here, hard to think it? of niche moments. <coughs> <coughs> what about Tweedledum? Tweedle, what was that science quote? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, aren't we just going Channel Five? Though are we going all together? Oh, we're going whole lot. If we're going whole lot, then you have a whole <coughs> different kettle of fish. I liked it when um, Saskia was got that secret task in the toilet, and that that phone came out of the wall. Oh yeah, that was good. I liked it when Rex said, I'd swap you for Scrabble. That was a good line. Oh, I liked it when David and Lisa went on that bus. Just oh, I hated monsters. that. Oh, it was wicked. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's so many. I Se- liked, um, oh. Caesar getting evicted. My that friend went on a world tour and Germany was cancelled. Oh, Italy yeah. was cancelled when Tim told them about the World Cup. Oh, uh, yeah. Was good. Uh, yeah. And they were all like, no. Yeah, that was so obvious. <laughs> And then King of it, that's too obvious. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I like when... Anthony getting drunk in the wetsuit, that's classic. In a wetsuit? Yeah, when Anthony got drunk in the wetsuit. Oh, I might have missed that. Anthony Hutton. Yeah, he was absolutely fucked and Craig was trying to fuck him, basically. Because apparently was you're he not... in the pool? N- no, no, it was like fancy dress, but apparently you're not meant to get drunk in a wetsuit because you can't, like, get your 
you get like proper not dehydrated. I don't know. You can't sweat sweat it out basically. Ah. And he was like proper fucked. Oh, I don't remember that. How do you I'm, not remember I, I, that? I missed, That's I'm, classic. I missed a bit of Big Brother Six. Oh my god, that is classic. <laughs> um, I like when. Spencer and Kate were passing liquid um, uh, beer through the divide. That's quite an obvious one, though. Yeah, sure. Uh, Channel 5, I can't really remember much. No, we need a few hours to think about this shit. <clears throat> Should we do Come that on. now? Or? No, let's move on. Thank you for the question. Um, as always... What's look, yours? Tell us what yours is. As always, look, well, she did. Oh. Louisa Zisman and Liz oh, Jones in the it? bath. Oh. Well, that's good, but come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> As always, love you lots. I know you guys make fun of everyone on BB Twitter calling everything queen and ironic and iconic. Ironic. <laughs> <laughs> but Lindsay, you are a queen and guess you're iconic. So oh, thank you very much. Love I you lots, Ali. That. Thanks, Ali. Thank you. Is Ali even on Twitter? Yeah, Ali Moody. I don't know what what's your Twitter, Ali, I forget. Uh oh. Oh god no. What? No no, Gmail just froze up. Oh. God, I was thinking, Jesus, what now? Laurie, BB on Blast Sunday pod feedback. Oh, I think this is the one she said to delete. Because it was out of date now. What is it? What's it about? Was it? No, we can read it. (gasps) It's got recording on it, though. She doesn't want us to play it. She said delete it, but... We could start it and see what she's on. Late start for the episode tonight. Okay. Um, Channel 5... uh, being real pricks to their audience, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Will they even have an audience after Big Brother is over? No. As for the se- as the season is coming to an end, I just wanted to thank you two for the hours of enjoyment you've brought over to my BB experience. No I appreciate all the time you give up to bring the the pod to us every week. We don't give it up; we enjoy it. There's a recording, but we've got to play the start of it. See what she's on about. How long is it though? We'll just stop it if it's, she's going. Hey, on. Lindsay and Gaz. So leave in a little feedback for your next pod. I'm questioning what uh, taxes are, if any, are applied to game winnings over there. And then, um, in Canada, their winners don't have to pay taxes. We don't either. In the US, so. we don't. they sock it to the winner. So I'm just curious, in England... No. What happens US with what? their price money? Do they get it all or do on they have US, to pay taxes to on it? Untold taxes. And... Do you guys know if, uh, I'm sure they have a weekly stipend, and if you guys know, know what that amount is. Just curious. I think they just pay uh, their rent. After rent. watching, I know you don't like me bringing Survivor up, but Survivor uh, South Africa, they uh, were playing for a million rand. Oh. Well, I did the conversion, and that's less than $70,000 oh. US, and I just think, my God, for what they put those people through... The starvation, the cold, the wet, big and being outside for big however big many days. Yeah. I just don't feel like well, that is a, a, home maker a lot of money. And it's around the world. So. Sounds good to me. Anyway, that's it. Anyway, Hope you guys have a great it. pod. Oh, yeah. And uh hour and a half uh, episode tonight, uh, which I hear they won't even be showing what happened with Lewis. So that's disappointing. Mm, I think I if they put the information out there, rumor mills wouldn't mm, be able correct. to uh, spin stuff. Mm. So that's all. TTFN. That's a quite good question. That was yeah. nice, that. There's no tax. Um, There's no tax at all over here. Like, who wants to be a millionaire? You get the million if you win. Um, yeah, housemates do get paid, like, a sort of minimum wage, like a minimum rate for being in the house just to cover their rent on the outside mm. world, but it's nothing significant. It's not, like, as much as you get in the American one, I don't think. Uh, Connor again. Connor. Connor Redder. You already had one. Uh, no, but this is well, know, because we didn't do a pod we, last yeah, time. We've been gone Subject it. line: WTF. Oh. Oh. Better than OTW. <laughs> uh, hey guys, when I heard the news about Lewis, I honestly wasn't shocked. Oh. But when I read what he actually said to get kicked out, mm. I haven't seen the episode, so maybe that was a rumor. Well, mm. even if you had, you ain't gonna see him. <laughs> uh, I was honestly kind of pissed okay how could they kick him out over oh. something so trivial i thought, <laughs> I thought that, me too i thought i always said i want to hear someone who's really angry at lewis though just for you know because i feel like we're, variety i feel like we're being biased i'm not but then it's, it's our prerogative to be biased on our own podcast even when rodrigo said the n-word 
he got a warning. Mm. Has someone ever been kicked out for something like this so late in the game before? Never. Nowhere near the, the end like that. Well, I know it's a long shot, but I really hope Zoe, Kian or Brooke will win. Mm. Yeah, Zoe or Kian could. But I'm sure it would be a Kian or Cameron. It will. Uh, sick mask emoji, crinkled up face emoji, <laughs> shock emoji. Um, <laughs> anyways, I saw you guys hanging with Arissa. Yeah. I bet that is the best since she is literally the coolest people from BB. Yes. Um, you guys are the best. Connor, ah, Connor R. He says being... he signs off Connor R. I read out the full name every time. Sorry. Everyone's being very uh, <coughs> complimentary to us tonight. Makes a fucking change. <laughs> <laughs> From getting rinsed. <laughs> no, it's usually positive in the no, inbox. I know. So there's an email here, and um, you can guess who it's from, because the subject line is a lyric. A song lyric. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. Is it the saga? Yep. <laughs> he says, read this email in a Brian Bello voice. <laughs> How the fuck you went to do that? Uh, what's a Brian Bello voice? With a week talk. left of Big Brother UK, I've got to say, it has been a wild ride and actually good riddance. <laughs> no Lewis F explanation too. That was a big fuck you to the audience from Channel 5. <laughs> Sorry to Lindsay not going to see Lewis F's abs. <laughs> Sorry to myself for not hearing the, his cackles anymore. <laughs> Cameron, we're now finished in the top three. Also, I'm going to shoot my shot. Arissa is still there. Can I please take you out to Nando sometime? <laughs> Much love, BJS, aka BB on Black. Yeah, he, he tweeted Arissa back. Did she go Nando's when she's over here? Did she say anything? I, I got Arissa to give a deal <laughs> message for him, but it wasn't about Nando's. Okay, What's, who's the next email from? Well, the subject line is mm. Gaz on the bus. Oh, yeah. Also. Oh, getting a thrill, was it? Also, Arissa Cox. Getting a thrill. When you used to work getting a thrill on the bus. What, from the vibration? Yeah. No. Oh. It was you, wasn't it? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hold on, who's this email from? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Hey, guys. Sorry, but I couldn't miss the opportunity, and I kind of crave attention. But if the Arissa Cox is there at this current moment in time, then she's, hi. She's not. <laughs> Hashtag Rosina was robbed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if she's not there at the time of you reading this, then here is a subplot of my email. I call it Gals on the Bus. So I got on the bus yesterday, as I often do, <laughs> and then a man gets on, and I'm like, shit, that's Gaz. This man <laughs> looked exactly like you. I was a bit starstruck, to be honest, until I quickly realised it wasn't you. So yeah, that's my BB on Blast story of the week. Oh, you should have got a photo. The end. Hashtag justice for Lewis. Hashtag save BBUK. Hashtag fuck. K-A-I-L? Kale? What does that mean? I don't know. Fuck Kale. Whatever that is. Yeah, fuck you, Kale. Um, from outside the Big Brother house, I'm Lorcan Murphy. Good night. Oh, hi, Lorcan. Nice to hear from you. What's Kale mean? I don't know. What is that? We could be saying anything and we could be saying fuck. I don't know. <laughs> Babies, we wouldn't know. Uh, second email because Arissa Cox. Just a quick follow up. You guys is met. This is from Norkin as well. This is from Ali Moody. Oh, Ali. Uh, you guys met Arissa, and I'm so jealous. Arissa is such an inspiration and role model, and a commitment to role the... model to your kids. Though. <laughs> <laughs> a commitment to the BB franchise she is something we as a community are so lucky to have. Mm. Just a queen, a legend. I l- love her. I'm a legend. Is that it? Nope. Anthony S. Ex housemates hijack. Kim, I mean Mrs. Woodburn, should have been there the whole day <laughs> bossing them around. We don't need Josie and no, Nikki. No, that's true. Oh, Nikki, we did. In all seriousness, Josie is a great choice because she's the last Channel 4 winner. Mm. Actually, how she... did she win? Because <laughs> <laughs> they picked four people and one guy one time just before she won it, that's why. Did they? Yeah, Sam Pepper, John James, and all that. Sam all Pepper went in was one legacy. Guy. Yeah, he was. He good. was a good housemate, yeah, actually. He, he was good, yeah. Sam Pepper. <laughs> Josh used to have a bit of a rival of him. Too, uh, yeah, he used to drive her at the yeah. wall, man. Because he went in there to troll her. Yeah, like, right it was now. like um, Hussein going in trying to troll Lewis F. Yeah, but more authentic. Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> As for Nikki, I've had enough of her. Oh. So he's not the only one that yeah, felt like. Yeah, I've heard that a few times on Twitter tonight. And if... Chris said it as well, Chris Wright. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to bring back a legend, why not have Brian Dowling instead? Do you uh, know why? Because he used to be the presenter and he got fired. 
Well, I know someone who would agree with you that. Yeah. <laughs> um, 